Hey gun people. So I'm taking apart this Rossi, going to smooth it down a little bit. So what I've done here is I've taken off this little screw right here in order to get my um, magazine tube off. So that's one down for the magazine tube. Then I have this screw off here in order to get this off. And then I'm going to take my wood off. And of course the follower is run through there. A little plastic follower. Not a real big fan of that. I've got a metal one on order. It looks pretty cheesy. Not a big deal. So I'll put that to the side. Then I took off this back screw here to pull the rear stock off. And that will expose most of the stuff in here. Um, I'm going to take some wax and just uh, like different uh, wood wax and polish this up a little bit. So I'll let you see what it looks like afterwards. Looks like it's got a pretty good finish. I don't have to do too much to it, but I'm going to put some wax on it. And uh, that wood wax will help protect it. So now I need to get... Uh, there's plenty of videos on how to take this apart, so I may cut all this off. If you lock this to the rear, it compresses the spring and it makes a little hole right there. So you can stick a little paper clip in there. And I had some paper clips around here because I have this done before. There it is. So that is... I really don't want that coming off because that is going to be a pain in the butt if it comes off. I think the next thing I do is take out this bolt right here. So this might do this for the bolt. Make sure that's the right bolt. Yeah. So when you're taking your bolt out, this little, I call it an oil hole, is your pin hole. So I have to knock the pin out. And the pin is held in by a screw on this side. So I'm going to take this little screw out here, which will allow me to get my bolt out, which will allow me to get to it to polish it. That screw was really, really loose. Like a lot looser than I really wanted it. So I'm kind of shocked. I have a magnetic tray here for all my screws so I don't lose them. So um, that's in there. So now I need to find the hole. I think that'll get it out. Oh shit, I just lost my damn spring. I knew that was going to happen. That fell out because it wasn't long enough. I need to find me another paper clip. And I think I might have some extra ones in here that will be long enough to go in there. This won't work. This is the one I should have used. Hopefully I've not screwed this up and lost my ability. Ah, much better. So, where this little wire goes in here, I really wanted to come out the other side. And the other one was a little short and didn't come out this other side because I want to hold this spring compressed. But first I need to knock my little uh, pin out of here. And let's see if I can knock that little sucker out. Oh yeah, that'll work. So will it let me punch it out with just pressure or do I need to knock it out? So I think once I do the tension it goes away. Let me see if I can just pop this out nice and gently. Oh, it does. So I'll use this one. Wow, that one was really loose too. Man, I am not impressed with how loose these screws are. So let's just make sure there's nothing holding that. And there it comes out nice and easy. Okay. So now that I have removed this screw, this part should come out. 
Let's try it with it fully closed to see if that works. So what I tried to do, so you can see what I'm doing that's not working, is I put this ham my hammer all the way forward to see if it would pull it out of here, and it will not. So see that little spring is in there. My spring is compressed. This needs to come out. But for some reason, let me work on this and then I'll come back. Woo, man. That took a little while. So I finally got this pin out here. And this pin was in here, but man, it's got little grooves on it. And I mean, that sucker did not, I soaked it in oil, tapped and tapped. You could tell where I tapped on this end. So this is the end that the screw presses down on. I gotta remember that. So the, the tapered end or the little grooved end goes in last and the screw will press down. That little pointed end is where I was banging on it. So that has to go in this way. So I need to remember that. Now, there's a problem with this little bolt here that everybody seems to have a problem with is this ejector will come off now. And there it is. I can see it. So as I open this up, you're going to see the ejector like loose right there. I'll try to put a little arrow on it. So I'm want to make sure and get there should be three pieces with that so I want to make sure and get all three of those pieces when this comes out there's a spring kind of the follower so there is this little collar there's the spring and then this is I think the feeder so I will be polishing all those up and smoothing any rough edges on that. So that's off the bolt. Now my bolt should come all the way out. Maybe this has to come out first. Yeah, this comes out first because the pin was through here. So now if the pin comes off, this comes out. And these two pieces here, I think this might come off. Yeah, it does. If I want to take this apart. But I want to really look at where the edges and grooves and everything are before I change anything. Um, so this has to be on the front. Uh, this has one side is open here. It's not open there. So that means the open side goes to the right side, the loading port side. And you can tell after like four or five thousand uh, racking, there's some wear. Well, I'm going to make these kind of pieces kind of shiny by the time I put them back in there. So there's not going to be. I'm feeling for rough edges. Fill a rush cut here. It feels really rough right there, even though there's a lot of oil. That feels there's a pretty there's a rough edge right there. So I am just looking for machining sharp edges. And I'm going to take a little steel wool and polish that, or uh, file off those little, just enough to smooth down any rough edges. These actually feel pretty smooth, but I'm still going to go ahead and smooth these up, smooth these up. Actually, these edges don't seem that bad, but I'll go ahead and put some sandpaper or steel wool on that. Uh, that seems like a little sharp edge right there. That's all I'm doing is looking for rough edges that I'm going to smooth. So that's my lever. This is the bottom tang or something with the trigger. This is your uh, spring that some people change. Um, so I'm going to take that out and polish that on both sides. Um, this feels pretty rough right here. Trigger is pretty smooth. That's got a little bitty pin right there that I can probably take out. So what I will do is I will work on this piece and put it back together. I will work on this piece, do all my polishing, put it back together. And then my uh, hammer with the spring, these are pretty smooth. And the trigger was pretty good on here. 
So I'm going to polish up this side and that side. Any place else that I kind of see wearing, I'll probably polish up right here because this is the part that the lever action goes across to cock it. So I'll probably, that feels pretty smooth, but I'll still polish it up. After I do all those polishing, let me get my bolt out of here. So this bolt, these rails, I'm going to put some sandpaper on these. Really, I use like 1,000 grit or 2,000 grit sandpaper. Maybe even a little steel wool. I could probably smooth these down with a little steel wool and you'll see it polish up. Yeah, it already smoothed it. I can feel already that I smoothed it. So I'm sticking that in a groove there. Sticking it in the top groove. Oh yeah, this side's already smoother than this side. So there's a sharp edge right there and there's a little sharp edge there. So I'm gonna do this. This is where these locking lugs, these two things right here, lock into here. So I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and smooth, no sharp edges there. I've got my little plug on order so I can take this out and replace that plug. I'll do a separate video on it. Basically, I'm gonna make it shiny and smooth. I'll get inside here. And I may take off this loading port. Uh, this, this is pretty strong and it's hard. So I may bend that just a little bit to loosen it. You got to be very careful because I don't want to hang it open. But I want it a little bit softer. So I may take that off. And then looking down in there, of course, these little grooves here, I'm going to take that sandpaper and do that. Maybe um, I've got these little bitty files here that take off a little, little bit of stuff. So I might put these in the grooves here and just smooth them out just enough. Not a lot, not put a lot of pressure. Because I don't want to make, I don't want to increase these tolerances. So I just put a little oil on there and I'll do those out and, and, and make that nice and smooth. Man, this right here is like razor sharp, but that goes over the wood. So I don't really care if that's razor sharp, but what I do want to file down is this little thing right here where I load is pretty sharp. So I'm going to stick this down and I'm going to probably file on the inside of here and at, at this bottom because when I'm loading it, this is where my finger's going in. If I'm using my thumb, I'm hitting this piece and that piece. And they really aren't that sharp. People are saying they're shredding. I don't think they're that sharp. But I'm going to smooth them out a little bit so my bullets are going a little bit easier. Once I do all that, I'll let you see it afterwards. And hopefully um, I can figure out how to put this back together. All right. And then again, on my wood, I'm just going to wax these. I'm going to put some wax on it. Uh, it looks pretty smooth already. And I'll wax those up. So that is part one of getting the Rossi ready to work on it. And I'll try to videotape each of these little things maybe. All right, Linda there.